Hi kids, in this video I am going to discuss about how to create the files and after that how to write any kind of text inside the files using ASP.NET. So and here I am using file one waveform. Now here after first we need to add to or button control. So let's go to designer and here toolbox. So add here or uh, first button control, drag there inside the form. Add here, let's uh, go to the properties. And here, this is for creating the file. So let's write add here create. Now here after taking one more button control, and this I'm going to use for write the text. So let's write add here. If I click on the button, then of that display contents inside the file. Now here after the next thinking thing is so let's double click on the create. So add here button one click event that open. Now here first I'm going to take a string time variable. And here giving the name str. Now here after add the rate column. And here first thing is so and here going to create the file inside the text. So let's select add here just and here copy and here paste here. So I'm going to create add here jazz.txt file. Now here after the next thing is let's write at here file string clause. So add here file string clause. So add here getting the error. Let's take the cursor and here click on so potential fixes. So add here we need to add system.io. So here you can see system.io that added. Now here after creating the object of file string f1 and here setting the value with nav. Now here after if condition if add here not equal and here going to use add here file and here file that is a class and here checking if it is exit so let's check at here exit method and here passing str now here after open and close that and inside going to use using and here f1 equal to file and here dot here after create and here passing str. So add here by using this code if user click on button then add here these things happen. So add here string that is so uh, string time variable taken str. So add that location that file created with the name jazz and here file stream f1 so add here f1 by default the value is null so if this condition is true then add here file created okay now here after let's execute that right so if i click on add here create button so let's minimize that so there is no any file created with jazz click on create so right here there is a one point text file that is created. So there is nothing inside here. So right here I am going to insert some or something uh, data, some values, some strings. So if a user click on something on right, so add here some contents that added on the jazz text. So add here this is the code to create the files. Now here after 
let's go to designer here let's start that now here double click on the right so I have button to create event that open now here so at this point I'm going to do some copy and paste So add here, this is the fact that I am going to add some content. So add here, this is not required. Now here, file exit. So first time that is say not, and here this time going to say file exit. If the file exit, then that go inside, and here, going to use add here, string Twitter. So here, oh, we need to use at here, you can find reader and writer. So going to write something so that here, going to use writer. Here, creating the object, str now here off to new, and here, stream writer, and here, passing str value. Now here, after the next thing is, So add here, let's write S table here after you can find so add here write right line right line asynchronous. You can use add here any one from four. So let's use add here right and here in double code going to write ASP dot net here tutorial and here going to use place like subscribe youtube now we have to close that so add your s table getting some kind of error so we need to add one more bracket now here it's fine now here after there is nothing inside this text file so when user click on the right so this contains that going to add inside there so let's execute once again here after I am going to do some right operation on just text file so let's click here now here after double click here you can see asp.net tutorial please like subscribe it's come now inside now here after let's do some modification. So for doing modification we need to restore that one. Now here let's write one two three four five. Now here after execute once again. So add here it's the on this values. Now here after now here after clicking on right and here here you can see the file modified. So like this you can add add here any kind of text. Yeah. So you can create the whole file like any kind of file you can create like dog like CSV any kind of file and you can add some values inside the file. So this is the code to write the contents and here this is the code to create the file. To write the contents, we need to write add here a stream writer and here if add here checking if file exits there so file already exits then that will do the right operation okay and here passing str so str so this is the path we are file going to create so I hope that this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you.